Hi everyone and welcome back to Interview Chronicles Season 3. Today we are in the 50th episode of this series and we have Charan here with us who has been recently placed at Synopsys as a part of his campus placements at VIT. He is here to share his interview experience with us but before we talk to him let's look at the eligibility criteria. So all students from all of ECE specializations were eligible provided they had a 70% or a 7 CGPA in their 10th, 12th as well as in their pursuing degree with no standing arrears. Now let's go ahead and talk to Charan and understand his experience. Hi Charan, firstly welcome to my channel and congratulations on your placement. So would you like to introduce so, yourself first? Yeah, uh, I'm Charan and I'm pursuing my final year of uh, B.Tech Electronics and Communication at Velour Institute of Technology, Chennai. I have done three internships in different domains such as Electronics Core and RF and uh, in the field of analytics. Uh, recently, I got placed in Synopsys. It is an American-based company. Uh, they do provide solutions in the field of uh, electronic design and automation, that is EDA, and uh, quite other services. That's it. Yeah, thank you. Okay, that's great. Thank you. Uh, you cannot tell us about the placement process, like how many rounds were there and how it happened. So, okay. Uh, initially, uh, in the month of January, that is Jan on January 18, uh, we received this company. Uh, we were given a couple of days, one, uh, one to two days for applying in the Neopad portal. So uh, after applying, the eligibility, basically the eligibility criteria was uh, in your 10th class, 12th class and in UG, you should have 70%. After applying, uh, we got a shortlist uh, after four days. So in that shortlist, basically whomever uh, they met this criteria were eligible to write this exam. So overall, 275 candidates, they have been shortlisted for this uh, online test. In that online test, it consists of, uh, it was almost about 90 minutes. Hmm. It consists of aptitude as well as electronics. Okay. So there were negative marking. Um, in the After the negative marking, like uh, the test consists of negative marking also. So after the test, uh, almost like uh, in a 10 days of span, we received the shortlist. Okay. Uh, hardly 5% of the candidates, they have cleared the test. Okay. That is 12 candidates, they have cleared the test. Okay. Um, after that, like... Um, in the month of February, uh, we got an interview call for the initial three rounds. So there were a total of five rounds. Okay. The first three rounds happened on February and the next two rounds happened on March. So uh, once we, after receiving the call, uh, we were invited for the interviews. It, uh, it had about, uh, it was about two days. So first, uh, like it, the, all the three rounds were continuously held uh, in the span of uh, uh, five to ten minutes. Uh, five to ten minutes interval. Okay. So first round, basically all five rounds were technical rounds. Hmm. So in the first round, uh, I was basically tested upon my analog skills and semiconductor uh, related skills. Okay. So first question was, uh, explain what is a diode. Hmm. So this is a basic question everyone should know. And after explaining this, they had just told to uh, uh, sketch the characteristics of the diode. Hmm. And also they uh, asked me how this the diode functions. And uh, also they asked about a practical application of this diode. Okay. So almost this was the question. And additional to this, uh, in the beginning, I was being introduced myself. Hmm. And uh, that's it for the first interview. After 10 minutes, they called me for the second interview. In the second interview, they just asked my resume uh, based uh, things. And uh, it was quite simple, normal. And they didn't go much deep into it. Okay. And in this round, uh, I was uh, tested upon my digital skills. Hmm. That is basically uh, digital electronics, VLSA and all these things. Okay. In digital electronics, what was the basic question was, like, uh, tell us a truth table of an XOR, hmm. XNR. Hmm. And uh, we were also asked, I, I was also asked about um, just design a circuit using multiplexer. Right. And um, if you say, like, uh, just tell me what is expansion of CMOS hmm. and how does the CMOS function. Hmm. So these were basic questions. So this was in the second round. And in the third round, I was interviewed by an, another person. Okay. So he just interviewed, like, uh, uh, just uh, we will have a two uh, aptitude question that is basically a puzzle question, hmm. which is basically from a... Uh, geeks for geeks okay. so he asked me a basic uh, that's for a formality hmm. but the main concept was uh, he was uh, testing my uh, vlsa skills as hmm. well as very log coding okay so in the vlsa he just asked me explain what is a cmos uh, what are the types of networks that is pull up network and pull down network hmm. so if you interchange this what will be the answer 
and uh, how will you measure this performance hmm. and uh, what are the metrics involved uh, in the cmos to uh, evaluate its performance criteria hmm. and these are the basic questions hmm. so finally he uh, just gave me a suggestion that like uh, aptitude is for a formality but b- main focus should be in the technical skills hmm. so after this round uh, from 12 candidates only five candidates they were shortlisted for the fourth and fifth round hmm. so fourth round was also basically a resume based round totally from your resume hmm. so they just started with my like projects and uh, like i have also done publications they hmm. asked me about my publications and uh, so that's basically fine hmm. and also i had my one of my pcb product so i just uh, showed them like uh, this is my pcb and uh, uh these uh these are the components and uh, these are the things which i uh, i have explained each and every components they told me that like uh, uh like you you have you are familiar with each and every part of your comp- uh, of of this circuit mm. so this is the thing we are expecting we are not expecting much we you should know what uh, whatever the basic thing for example if you are a resist if you are working on a resistor project right. so in the resistor you should know basic color coding mm. Mm. and if you are working on something related to capacitor you should know what are the number formats and the in what type of capacitors hmm. like electrolytic capacitor or a ceramic capacitor hmm. so these kind of things uh, whatever you have used in the pcb you should be able to explain it these were the things and uh, what at the end of this interview i received the feedback like uh, so you are technically strong so i will just move this to the senior manager instead of your fifth round okay so fifth round was my senior senior manager round so in the cinema manager round of initially he just show, uh, told me to share my resume mm-hmm. uh, after sharing the resume for formality he told me to introduce and he also explained about this company so he told me that uh, the clients uh, of the synopsis are uh, intel uh, samsung and etc companies so you will be working on these particular domains as an intern for a period of one year after your performance as an uh, intern so you will be converted based upon your performance so finally he asked me basic stuff like uh, what is a race time what is a fault time and will you be able to uh, design a multiplexer hmm. uh, and also do you know to convert a d flip flop into a t flip flop right. so how would you convert it with how many flip flops are needed for this hmm. so these are basic questions and finally he uh, he also asked me like uh, some questions related to behavioral type so in the behavioral type he asked me like if you are in a team you are working with a few candidates like if suppose your project is getting delayed hmm. what you will do in this situation and the other candidates uh, they had a sixth round so sixth round is their uh, senior manager round and mm. fifth round was technical round mm. for other candidates mm. so uh, i thought like uh, i was rejected in the after the fifth round mm. so then only i realized that senior manager round is the last round okay so uh, everything went well and mm. uh, in the march 10th we have received a, uh, we are selected from our placements so this was my entire process it almost took 3 months uh, for this company that's it okay that's great congratulations again and thank you for sharing your experience uh now do you have any suggestions for your juniors or anything that you want to share that you learned from your experience yeah uh so i would say like uh, first of all you try to make sure uh, all your resume things are original and also like just be sure like uh, whatever things you have mentioned you should be confident in them that's more than enough hmm. and the second suggestion would be like uh, i got rejected in multiple companies Uh, multiple super dream companies even though after a lot of rejection i was constantly trying for a particular uh, I, i was willing to go into a super dream hmm. so i was constantly trying so as a result i got into this company and one more suggestion i would say like uh, if you have some goal uh, you just pursue a goal without any getting in uh, without getting distracted hmm. why because like a lot of people uh, you would see like uh, your friends are getting placed into a uh, good companies and you would say like uh, so at a point of time you will be trying to break out this process and mm. you will be in a position to get placed in any of the company that is not a real a good thing mm. so i would say that like if you have a goal if you go if you think you should go into this company you just or keep working on this at least you will get into a similar company which you are willing to join right so if you are into electronics you just focus on electronics definitely you will get into this uh, electronics domain on a, on the other day mm. don't be uh, afraid and don't be discouraged by uh, someone else right. so that's it from my side right. okay that's great thank you so much for sharing your experience and for the, your suggestions i'm sure it's going to help many people yeah thank you Thank you all for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. 
इफ यू डेट प्लीज डू लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड डोंट थिंक ये कौन है हु इज दिस गाई टकला पर्सन इट्स मी ओनली सो प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब